and he'll just refuse to do it at all. He'll time out, mission terminated. Hello and welcome to Saboteur for the ZX Spectrum. It seems I misspoke on my Faceball 2000 video when I said I couldn't get the ZX Spectrum to work for MIDI Maze. It was actually the Atari ST that I couldn't get to work. Thankfully, this one seems to somewhat work. And although I have no idea what the controls are, at least I've gotten this far. If your copy of this game does not have blue cassette body with Durrell embossed on it, and does not have Durrell on the leading strip, this is a forgery. Please send any forgeries to with your name and address and the name and address of the person who supplied you with forgery. You'll be sent a genuine replacement copy and a reward of 100 pounds if your information leads to a successful prosecution. Okay, so I guess bootleg tapes were a real issue back then. Press any key to continue. Wonderful music, isn't it? Okay, I need to go with the keyboard, obviously. Maybe redefine keys. Okay, press your keys for this. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, let me let me do that again. I didn't realize it would start doing it right off the bat. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. X for fire, up, obviously, down, left, right. And that's probably corresponding to a numpad or something. That's fine. Keyboard. And then start the mission. Hopefully we'll... we can do this. Enter skill level. Let's go with one to start out with. Your mission will be extremely easy. Okay, that's the point. Huh, look at that. Oh, nothing held, huh? Freaking dog. Out of my way, pooch. Oh, look at that. Haha, <laughs> cool, you can pick up a brick. Ah, crap. That's right, pooch, get out of my way. Uff. Oh, okay, there's a camera. <laughs> and the camera shoots things at you. That's, that's great. Huh, nice color spectrums. I guess that's why they call it the ZX Spectrum, huh? Well, this is weird. How in the world? Okay, I beat the guy. Uh, saboteur dead. Mission fail. I was about to say, I'd, I would just have to take out his dog, but I couldn't. Okay, let's go with one again. Because clearly this is a... This game is far beyond my level. What I should have done was not attack. Not just throw my weapon away right away. I shouldn't have thrown that away, either. What the hell? How do you attack while crouching? Can you even attack while crouching? It doesn't seem like you can. This is impossible. So it's literally impossible to kill the dog, huh? Good to know I'm screwed, huh? Oh, okay, right, your health does replenish itself, and you can go down here. So that's... that's something, right? Why would I want to go out into the open and get myself attacked when I can just sneak past underground and be undetected? No. That doesn't take me very far, does it? Actually, no. Give me the brick. At least then I can try to attack the guy. You know what? I'm running. Get me out of here. Oh, for crying out loud. Thank you. Yeesh. There we go. Saboteur dead. Frick. Frickin' camera again. Clearly I needed to go somewhere else. Okay, let's do this again. I'm gonna learn eventually. Or I'll just keep dying over and over again, which is probably more likely anyway. Because he does not know how to go down a ladder on demand. And I don't know how to make him go down a ladder on demand, if I'm being honest. It seems there's a lot of alternate paths that you can take to avoid conflict as much as possible. As much as possible, but not entirely, it seems. Because if you notice... 
you still have to go through that guy. Or at least that guy and his dog. Well, not anymore. I just killed the dog. Alright. <laughs> I just did it. Did a jump kick and I killed him. Or, you know, I knocked him out or whatever. Well, that's Andy. Down the freaking ladder, man. You freaking idiot. This guy's an idiot. I swear. It's hit or miss on whether or not he'll actually go down a ladder. It's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much for actually listening to my commands. Really appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Guessing I gotta have, it, have better timing than this, huh? What do we have here? Do I want to know what that white stuff is? Probably not. Oh, it's a dead end, huh? See, look at that. You gotta be right on the damn thing for him to go under. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's a subway train. Where where that came from. Just park there randomly. That's cool. Here you go, buddy. Heh, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. ladder, damn you. Thank you. Guess he has to be completely in the center, otherwise he won't do it. How do you get through this? Okay. I'm at, I'm at an end here. I'm at my wit's end here. How do I get, how do I get through there? Nope, that's another wall, so you can't go through that way. Probably this way. If I had to guess. Nope, I cannot fight dogs, so I may as well get the hell out of here. This guy, however, I can totally fight back against. Well, at least I get paid for knocking people out. Evidently, this white line was hiding this convenient brick. Which is so convenient. Apparently, I have 42 seconds left. And it's decreasing with every second. Yeah, go up the ladder, man. You can take out the guy. With the dogs. He'll kill you. Come on, man. Burn. <laughs> Did they just do it at the same time? And then the guy fell. What a doofus. What a great day doofus. I made over 2,300 on this run. Not too shabby, I'm doing better. I'm actually learning. <laughs> I love baiting them into doing that, it's great. Just kick each other and then my guy wins. Fatality! Too bad he doesn't know how to climb ladders to save his life. He can drop kick like the, rest, like the best of them, but he can't climb a ladder. Ah, shite. There we go. I was about to say. I was beginning to become a little worried there. What's this? Oh. I guess I ducked it right just the right time, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What the hell's this? Wait. It changed from nothing. Okay. What even is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe I did something by pressing it. Maybe it's a button. Okay. What the? Oh, okay. This goes back here. My time is about to run out, too. I may as well just run for it. I'm pretty sure if my time runs out, it's game over anyway. To go for broke, man. What the hell? I'm guessing that door's impenetrable, impregnable. Nope, there's nothing there. Those, whatever those symbols are, they're nothing. At least nothing I can use. Oh, that's one way only. Fabulous! 
And I do not have enough time left. I'm almost out of time. At least I made over 3,800. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. You gotta give me something. Time out. Mission terminated. I love how he's just killed for that. You're one of our 10 best ninja saboteurs. Gaming John. Okay. V Gaming John. Just John. Holly. Didn't know Jotaro's mom was this good at the game, huh? <laughs> I don't care if it's extremely easy. Extremely easy for this kind of game would be hard on a today's game, so I don't have to feel too bad. Probably. Maybe. Okay, let's see what happens if I go up. Maybe going up is where I need to go. A lot of barrels, huh? What am I, Donkey Kong? Freaking dogs again. Here you go. How'd you enjoy that? Freaking dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. I got a grenade. How the hell did I get that? Now that's just some crazy crap, but this is a crazy game. Oh. Okay. Decided to do a jump there. Fair enough. Did not know something that could happen. I just assumed that you would, you know, fall to the floor right there, that it would just be a smart, a slight drop. Evidently I was wrong. You know what? I'm gonna run away this time. You live for now, big guy. Or at least you remain conscious for now. He really does not like moving the way I want him to. Oh, holy crap. You guys got a freaking machine gun or something. Ah, crap. Turn around, you idiot. Thank you. A thousand, huh? At least I'm getting a little better at this. At least I would like to think so. And I'm finding new places, too. So you can't just say I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Hey, buddy. Go to hell. Thank you. Thanks, pumpkin. I don't even know if that's supposed to do something or not. I assume that because it's nearby, he's pressing it. Real shame that you can't attack the dog. I know that probably sounds a little messed up, but the dog is trying to kill me. I mean, heck, there there were patsy dogs that people had to do less than good things to, if you know what I mean. Now, is this any different? Well, I guess because I'm the saboteur, I'm apparently the bad guy here. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, okay, I went to the left and right, okay. I completely confused that. I are confused all the time. Hey, you keep shooting at me, you damn camera. Hey, buddy. At least I took him out. I took your ass out. You got knocked up out. How do you like that, buddy? I don't like being mauled by a dog that I can't even attack back on. Real shame. And I'm a dog lover, too. It's not that I, I would want to take out a dog, but in this case, I think I'll make an exception. There are exceptions to everything. What's up here? Oh, a lot of nothing, huh? That's great. I'm so glad I came up here. It was totally worth my time, wasn't it? Wait, what the hell? A knife? Well, don't mind if I do. Well, all right. In the words of Hank Hill. Oh, crap. Yeah, go up the ladder, man. Ah, shite. Yeah, mission failure. He died. 
He did. But I did better than some of them, so... You would think that I'd still get on the high score, but no. But no. Let's just go on boat and get the hell out of here. Okay, that's weird. What what did I hit? Some for some reason I took a little bit of damage there. I'm not really sure what happened. This is weird. Some of this game is kinda weird. Also, much like every other game I've been playing for the month of the Pioneer that doesn't have any music, there will be music artificially added courtesy of Incompetech. Kevin McCloyd, I love you, man. You provide me with so much great music when uh, either I can't use music due to copyright or it just doesn't exist like in this game. This game doesn't have any music. So in this case, Kevin McCloyd, I love you, man. You are my answer out whenever I can't use music from the game, or it doesn't exist. The point is, whenever the finished product necessarily has to have no music. I always turn to his music. It's always royalty free, as long as you give attri attrition. And heck, this counts as attrition right now. So there you go. I wonder if those actually do anything. It keeps saying they're nearby, but... Nothing seems to happen when I try to interact with him, which I'm assuming he's doing. If anything is happening, I can't see it. Which means it obviously doesn't exist. Oh crap. What the hell? I'm not attacking. I was not attacking. Okay, forget it. I guess I'll just do the regular punch. That apparently works. Yeah, this isn't working. You would think it would be affecting those things below. That would be having a tangible effect, so clearly it's not that. And... Attack and the arrow keys are the only things that the game actually has. So it's weird. It's not like you can just jump. I find it weird. Oh, okay, now it actually changed color. You see, you have to do this from a certain angle or something. What the hell? Never mind then, I guess it's just random. Okay. Look at that, that actually pressed something. Unfortunately, it seems to be very random and hit and miss which ones you can actually do it with. That leftmost one was literally the only one I could do it towards. And even then, it seems to just go back to normal and pretend that nothing ever happened by the time I let go of it. Weird game. Very weird game, but apparently this is one of the first stealth games. Well, stealth in that you can still fight your way out, but then again, games like Metal Gear Solid and Splinter Cell, thank God I'll allow you to do that too. It's just that, um... I guess you're you're encouraged to avoid conflict as much as possible by taking routes that will avoid enemy contact. So in that sense, it's sort of like a very early stealth game. And it's very interesting. Hence why it's here on the Month of the Pioneer. Because it helped pioneer the stealth genre. Even more so than Metal Gear Solid for the PS1 or even Metal Gear for the NES. Obviously, Splinter Cell didn't come along until the PS2 era. The PS2 slash GameCube slash Xbox era, even the, first, even the original Splinter Cell. It was probably inspired at least a little bit by Metal Gear. I would, I would have to imagine, anyway. Except, obviously, it takes a different tone to it. It's interesting the tones, the tone that games like Death Stranding, from what I've seen so far, because I actually stopped playing it, because I figured since it's coming on PC soon anyway, I may as well see the rest of myself someday. You know, whenever I get down to it. But they always seem to have their own tone to them. It has a very emotionally based, and I'm not saying that's a b obviously I'm not saying like, like it's a bad thing. In some ways, it's actually pretty refreshing. 
Like, you'll have a character talk about the Cold War and how it relates to people emotionally or something. That's not so much something you normally see with war games, but it is interesting to see. Ah, there we go. Oops. There we go. Oh, I have to go down. Not that it matters anyway. This game is confusing. Ah, oh, man. I overshot that. Whoops. Right, if you do it while you're... If you jump while you're moving, in other words, you press up while you're moving, you can do a sort of rolling jump to try to get across places. The downside is you can easily miss and end up in a precarious situation. You know what I mean? Or you can mistime it. Like that. And he'll just refuse to do it at all. He'll... Time out, mission terminated. You know what, I think I played this long enough anyway. I'm gonna have to say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like a more proper version of my name. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. And be aware of that ninja behind you. <laughs> see you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here. Thank you.